Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people and welcome to another episode of this mantle. And yeah, last time, was it last time? We defeated the automaton, we got the third fuel cell and we know where the fourth one is. So I'm like, yeah, I'll explore the world, but I really want to see what the fourth fuel cell does. So I'm going to go there and just see where I'm at. Mm, okay, well, a little bit ways off from the transmitters so i'm just gonna head up there and to the right i think and let's see if we can get the fourth fuel cell i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be the end of our journey here anyway so yeah we're pretty high level i feel like we don't struggle at all with most challenges sometimes i die mostly because i'm there like too fast not enough careful Glendale Fort Darrow mm. or you know just clumsy a bit but uh, this game uh, doesn't punish dying too much so we are fine if it did I would play way more careful but then the game would probably need to be like a little bit of a different kind of game right um yeah so put some more steel here so every episode we upgraded a couple of our items, like became a little bit better of what we are doing. I even have a rifle now. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, I actually have it equipped. Ooh. So how do we use it? Oh. Cool. Anyhow. Yeah, I made the rifle last time. Uh, I'm struggling quite a bit actually with turrets. I died so many times from them. I mean, eventually I get them, but uh, if one would add up all the time I lost in this game, because I was uh, going back to from my spawning point to where I was because of a turret, well, it would be significant. It would be significant. So I'm like, why don't we make a rifle, eh? Turrets don't have a huge range, they have decent range, but um, rifle outranges them for sure. So. Grenades outrange them, so what am I even talking about here? Right? Day 27. I feel like I've been playing this game for 100 days, but it's only day 27. Oh, I never broke this. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Okay. Right, I guess there's some electronics in there. Can I break that down as well? I can. <laughs> okay, so we can take the whole gas stations down now. Well, what's that? Oh, those are gas prices. Silly, silly high gas prices. The gas prices are really bad in my country as of late. Uh, it's like... Um, they are all time high. They were never so high as they are right now. And inflation is hitting us hard. Who knows what happens, what the future brings, but we'll see. We'll survive, we'll survive. I have the tiger and all that good jazz. Anyway. Well. <laughs> I, uh, I got a bit carried as a veil. <laughs> and went a little bit too high up. Okay, let's go here. Empty the inventory. There we go. Ooh, our great and courageous leader. Our fearless king from the crown station. Hmm. Well, that could be discussed, I guess. If he's fearless or not. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll probably fight him at some point. Well, the zombie version, anyway. Uh, okay, fast travel. So, Frosthorn, I guess, also. This was like a very, very bad move. <laughs> uh, so here we are. We have the rifle now, so... Oh! Right, some lumber. Let's see. 295 iron. Uh, so let's say we can use like 100 to make like 13 steel. That's fine. And then we can use like... 140 steel. I can use like 50 steel to make 60 steel to make some titanium. That's fine. I'll probably not use the scraps. Oh. 
Yeah, let's turn some mana bits into a mana chunk. Now I still have quite a few scrap wood. So what if I use wood? 23 wood for one mana chunk. Well, it's not too bad. Okay, since I put some uh, titanium into making, uh, let's uh, see here if we can invent something. Uh, bandolier. A slang sesh for holding addition uses for throwable weapons. Oh, I can also upgrade that. Let's see, upgrade gear. Where's the bandolier? Bandolier. Huh, I don't have enough carrots for that. Bandolier, there it is. Five titanium. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Mana beads? Well, mana beads, sure. Mana shard, okay. Well, I'm saying my mana shards for now. I'm not quite sure, like, how necessary they're gonna be, but anyhow, let's get our winter clothes on. And... <laughs> so now we are hot, okay. Uh, let's put the bandolier on, I guess. So does that give me extra bullets? No, but I have eight landmines now, which is uh, just uh, very cool, very cool actually. Eight grenades as well. And a rifle, now we are true soldiers, so. And with all this frost gear, well, I'll also be fine against the cold, hopefully. Mm. Can I break these? No, I can't, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's an enemy here. Bam! <laughs> the whole screen shaked at that. 1.8k damage. Whew. I guess that was a critical hit and a, uh, and a back hit. Oh, I can't get inside there. Interesting. Well, it is a kind of a dangerous house when you think about it. So maybe we should not really go inside there just yet. Let's take a shortcut here. There we go. Monday, buttermilk. Tuesday, condensed milk. Well, do you have a recipe for me? Now well, we have some spices, which is uh, always good. You have some of those. Now let's get, get some more spices here. There we go. Spices are hard to find, so you should use every opportunity you have to grab them. So if you're not gonna clear all the houses, well, let's be honest, you probably will not. At least, uh, well, grab some spices. But we had that one, so let's break it apart. And I think it's time. Things were a bit crazy for a moment there, but I think all things considered that went okay. Okay. Alright, so let's see what happened here. Yeah, craziness, craziness. Mm. Yeah. Well, we can search something. Oof, some, some uh, steel, I like steel. Okay. Open. Oh. We can search that one. Well, turns out it wasn't as dangerous as I was expecting. Uh, okay, I can't break this wall either. Ah, our game, you're not fun. Well, you are, but you're not. Yeah, I'm a bit... L milk experiments are sadly at a standstill until we receive more materials from the military. Wait, what? Milk experiments? What kind of milk experiments? That sounds a bit wild. Hmm. Where's all the milk then? Did you spend it all on experiments? I guess they did. Okay, go here. Something can be searched. There we go. 
more fabric. Well, oh, here we are, the campfire. Okay, let me empty my inventory, and then we're gonna head down. Um, I forgot a little bit exactly where I need to go, but I believe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, from this side. Okay. I still did not figure out how to. Arctic Research Base. No, I claim it in the name of Sledgehammer. Now it's Sledgehammer Practice Grounds. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna cut you off from civilization by taking these poles down. And well, now you are at my own mercy. Indeed. Oh. So, we have to find a way to like drain the dam. And once we do that, we'll be able to get the last fuel cell. Well, we'll probably have to... <laughs> Look at that. And I don't even have the... Uh, the How do you call it? The, the animal friendly uh, bowls with food. But I'm such a charming person myself that I don't need it. They're like, don't hit me. You're my friend. Don't do it. And I'm like, yep. I'm your friend and I'm I'm relieving you for this from this horrible world you live in. Like look at that. Anyhow. Uh here we have like a building which we have to go in. But we need a hydroelectric dam control key. And yeah, we cannot enter. We need 85. And well, let's look around for a bit to try and find the key. Oh, are we there? The gates of Underground are now sealed. May you find solace inside our unyielding fortress. This is an automated mm. recording sent from the 23 of the Crown yeah. Station. Yeah, so basically the, the, the middle of the map, it's like the Crown Station. Wait, what? It seems that workers at the dam lived at the Fjord Village. Perhaps the key is with them. Fjord Village? Fjord Village? Wait, what? Oh, that's the Fjord village. Uh, I think we reach it by going through here, right? Probably. Yeah, it also says locked. I need to find out how to open this. Wait, what? That was weird, that piece of dialogue didn't make much sense, but okay. Well, I think the Fjord village is up there. Let me just take a quick look what's here. A couple of enemies. And some power transformators, or whatever you call them. Well, that seems like an interesting piece of equipment. Some more electronics. I have so much electronics. Like... Uh, Way more than I actually need. Okay. Well, Fjord Village, here we come. Not really sure what path to take here, but. <sighs> well, they will never learn the rest. So. So there's another one of these here, like time disruption things. I tried to equip a pocket watch and and uh, dig it out. By the way, I have a pocket watch which slows down the passing of time. Everything moves slower, so at some point, I'm pretty sure the game will like require me to wear it. But for now, I don't think I need to. We'll see though. It would be a shame if I miss out on something though, because I did not have the pocket watch equipped at the correct time. But we'll see. Now we are the Fjord village, so we now have to find the key. Also, let me lower this bridge here. There we go. So we can get in there easier in the future. Well, I bet the key is inside here. Nope, it's not there. How about here? Not there, not in there, not in there. Where could have, where could it be? Where could it be? The damn key. 
Okay, my inventory is full down, so not much point in breaking things down. Is there a campfire nearby? Just, you know, chill, dude. Chill. If. So let's uh, look at our surroundings here. That dude there is a priority. Well, I have a couple of grenades here. Oof, no, 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 no. Almost died there. I think I I saved myself by killing it because uh, I, f I feel like I should have gotten way more damage on me. But, well, I guess luck was on our side today. Uh, gather some spices. Okay. Oh. Search. Oh, there's the key. Hydroelectric dam control key. Mm -mm -mm. Well, nice village you got here. Would be a shame if somebody broke it apart. Well, no one is here anymore, so who cares, right? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do we get up there? Wait, what? No, there's no way up there. Mm, you have to find some way to climb these things. Yeah, just just a moment. Just a moment. I'll be with you in a second. There you go. <laughs> and then and then he like starts running like a recipe, maybe? No? So I guess these dudes at the hydroelectric dam village, they were not like good at cooking or anything no special recipes found here well i don't think there's like too much interesting here so let's head back oh there's a closet here we can ruffle through mm, just some rubber oh hmm. nothing not a thing okay let's head back uh, was this the path? I think it was. And now we should go like up. Yeah, yeah, that's the path. We go here and then across the across the pipe. Mm -hmm. I wonder though. I wonder. <laughs> Kala kuko, a traditional dish. From the land of thousand lakes, basically fish baked inside a bread. Oh, the land of thousand uh, lakes. That's. Uh, I'm actually not sure. It's Finland, right? Should be. Kalakuko. The name does sound Finland as well. So. Uh, so it's not Norway, right? And it's not Sweden. Sweden is like. Should be Finland. One of the three anyway, but I'll go for Finland here. Uh, could be Sweden. Pretty sure it's not Norway. Uh, let me let me go and cook. 2.5% faster run. I mean it's cool, you probably don't need it to finish the game, but if I could, running speed is something that I would invest the most. If I had to choose between damage and run speed, I would always choose run speed. Um, yeah, let's cook. So we're gonna cook some kalakuko. So we're gonna need like one, two, three, four, five, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six of these. One, two, three of these, and then some bread. And there we go, kalakuko running speed plus two point five percent. Fish baked inside the bread. Oh, well, sounds cool. I'm not a huge fan of fish, but uh, whatever makes food more exciting, I guess. Uh, did we enter this one though? Any recipe here? <laughs> no, just a bunch of tomatoes, I guess. Somebody loved those in this one. Okay, let's store that. And I guess it's time to. Um, release the the water let's see what happens let's see what happens open it up okay we can search that some more steel interact drain water 
Amazing how that, how simple that is. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. I bet if I fished, I there would be way more fish. Okay, we can't do anything else. Cool. A thundering boom gives way to quiet sounds of dripping. The artificial lake has been emptied. Anyhow, I was laughing to the fish inside the lake. Um, you'll see soon. Uh, how do we get down there, though? Through here? Yeah, uh, nope. I mean, I could try jumping down, but... That might not be the best idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can jump as high. I mean, I can, but this dude in the game can't. I'm pretty sure, like... Most people could, like, easily survive this fall. Yep, not our dude, though. Nope, he's special. Okay. All right, so let's just say it's much higher than it seems. Mm. And this has to be a way down there. Just have to find it. Well, it's not here. Hmm. So it turns out... Turning... Making the water go away was the easier, easier part of the task. Now, actually getting there is a harder one. How about that rope? Maybe we can finally craft some ropes, right? Oh, look at that. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of mushrooms here, though. Pretty happy about that. I wonder how many do I have. Um, okay, so now we're on the other side. Let me open the shortcut. I love that. There we go. Oh. Getting closer and closer to our objective here. That's a lot of steel, iron and useful things, so I'm gonna carry that here. Don't wanna lose them to a mishap. And trust me when I say, um, give myself a keyboard and a mouse and uh, mishaps are bound to happen. Uh, let me see, okay. Uh, hmm. What if I jump onto the pipe? Like how high is that really? It seems like like four meters at best. Like you could cut it down to like two and a half meters if you like went onto the ledge, hold yourself on the upside and then just released. Yeah, that's just, that's just the presentation thing, I guess. This uh, this lake is like 10 meters, uh, 20 meters deep. <laughs> Let's get some common roach. We deserved it. So, this thing, you know, uh, it's like red. And that doesn't look good. But let's see, the sword in the lake. Okay, well, this one starts with rockets straight from the bat. And he has, like, a machine gun, okay. Oh, and he has, like, a flamethrower? Well, that's, uh... That's a bit harsh. This one is definitely harder than, than all the rest. We just started here. Yeah, he has like a flamethrower to protect himself. Flamethrower seems way po more potent than that smash. Okay, it has a smash as well. Oof, that's the flamethrower. Ouch. Ouchies, ouchies. Okay. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bend the chop a little bit. Now, well, that was not the smartest idea today. Okay, let's go through here. And... 
<laughs> Look at the deers, they're like... Does this pause the game? It actually does. Okay. Oh. I'm like, really? But it's not near, it's like so far away. I thought about now, can I build it now? Yeah, I can, good. Come. I mean, are you gonna shoot or what? Okay, you're sh you're shooting at deer. Like, is that why I made you? Is that why I made you? Maybe it's not close enough. I kill the deer though. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Come here. Come. Come. Okay, that turret is one. Just this thing. Okay, we need to, to patch ourselves up a bit. Oh. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, well, at least I have a plan, right? So, here's how we're gonna do it. Uh, oh, wait, what? I totally should have fixed that. Oh, boy. Okay. Well... You know what they say, who doesn't have it in the head, has it in its legs. So the... the... The rifle will definitely help. I mean, I could slowly and carefully probably kill it and bandage myself when he's actually not launching the rockets and so on, but... It seems like this one is quite potent, actually. There we go. No, how much do I care about that fish? No. Kind of do. And there we go. <laughs> so here, here's how we're gonna do it. First, we're gonna put turrets all the way around it. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Dudes, like, wait! It's not ready yet. I, you have to admire the zealousness though, right? I can get another one here. Well, all that time spent doing the tower defense game to get all these turrets pretty much paid off. to do it, I guess, right? Let's get this one going. <laughs> the sword in the lake. The, the, the fish on the dry land, more like it. Oh, well. well, that was way easier than I was hoping for. <laughs> well, maybe I should have done it like just manually but I don't know this is the last robot I had to fight and I was like if I don't use my tourist now I never never will so game rewarded me for well collecting the turrets first turret was the hardest one to get because I had to finish the tower defense with only one of them but uh, after that I easily I found another CPU inside the shelter one for the quest reward that was free and then I did another tower defense and got two more and now I have like five turrets and it turns out five turrets go through that thing like there is like no tomorrow. So yeah, we have a final fuel cell and well, I don't see a reason to pull your strings. Let's go and put it in and see what happens. Mm. Let's celebrate with some veal I guess. There we go. In there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, the sword of the lake. 
Yeah, well, this game is not afraid of giving you power if you if you earn it. Balance? What's balance? <laughs> well, here we are. It was very inefficient at killing tur turrets as well. Like, didn't kill a single one. Uh, so where's the tower? Oh yeah, I hate this tower. I really hate it. It's like all the way in the middle of nowhere. I see something searchable here though. So let me see what's inside there first. Hello. Mm. Some steel. So much steel. Okay, and some electronics. Yeah. I think I'm at the point where I don't actually need any more steel. Focus on Vic 32, quantum application of milk. Well, things got really weird around here. Quantum application of milk. Like what? Why? What the... H? Well, I don't know. We should not be judgmental though. Like... They tried to do something useful here. They tried to bring their uh, their island to the age of prosperity. Little did they know they're gonna doom doom it, doom doom the place. Okay, let me pick up my stuff here. Okay, mana chunk chunk of melted mana brimming with power. So what's that used for? Let me guess, I can turn mana chunks into shards. No, I can't. Huh. Let me do two more, we'll see. So that's not how you get mana shards. Interesting. Okay. So, shall we make anything else here? Well, we probably could. Invent and craft. Motorcycle helmet. Damage block plus 10%, slashing melee damage plus 10%. Okay, well that's gonna be useful if we ever do another tower defense, and we'll definitely do another tower defense. A helmet with a visor makes it a lot easier to hack and slash without the blood getting into your eyes. Motorcycle helmet. Well, makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. What's that for? Oh, build limit. Damage block. Oh. Hard hat. Okay. Soldier. Eight titanium, though. Yeah, sure. Military uniform of unknown origin. Excellent for combat situations. Extra trouble item uses plus two. Well, that sounds really good. Uh, wait, no. Now that's more like it, right? Look at that, all guns and stuff. <laughs> oh, maybe this one would look better. The the road rider, yeah. The Roro. More movement speed is always better than anything else. Ha ha! Sa 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 sa. Oh wait, 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 wait. Well, it's just fast travel. There we go. And the final fuel cell. Final fuel cell. Let's see. Let's see. There's a bunch of items here though for some reason that I didn't pick up. I was like, let's break everything. We're gonna pick it up eventually. And here we are. Install the fuel cell. Hopefully this is not the end of the game. It's been a lot of hours and I really want to explore this world, so I hope at least I get a prompt. Okay, let's install this thing. And inspect the field escape pod at the vacation site. Okay. Now I'll just check everything is operational. <laughs> and here I was worried that uh, 
that uh, I'll uh, I'll not be able to play the game anymore. <laughs> oh boy. The underground east entrance is now open. Oh, really? Is that so? I need to find my way to the crown station. That was so funny. Escape there, enter the underground east tunnel. Um, okay, so that's there, I guess. No, that's not there. There. Wait, Vault? Vault check out Kappa, that's fine. So let's go to... The junction station? Yeah, sure. <laughs> let's check out if the thing is all fueled up and ready. Well, it was, but it turned out it has the mind of its own. It has the mind of its own. At least we look cool, right? Uh, let's see. Copper Nam, Fairwood. Um. Is this the closest one, or would the? This one be a bit closer. Seems like the other one is a bit closer, actually. Uh, this one, right? Mm, I think so. It's gonna be a bit cold, probably, though. So I have to go there. Yeah, let's go from here, I guess. Uh, also, why is there an enemy here? That's so weird. <laughs> like, wait, what? Really? Oh, that's, um, that's not acceptable. There we go. Uh, a transmitter, scanner, radar, craft. Okay, let's see how many are there. 80. Only 80? Okay, there we go. Can't have enemies respawning. No, no, no. That's a big no, no, no. Uh, let's see, maybe we have some timber around here. There we go. Ah, it's really enjoyable to use the... Oh, look at that. Like, for real? Oh, I see. We use that one. I was like, did they reset? Whew. I was getting a bit worried here that something's happening with my save game. Arctic Cabin. Um, okay. All oh, right, we do have some of that here. Good. Can't break that one down there. Okay, well, I probably enter the central area and I'm gonna wrap this one up as well. And then, yeah, we still have one area we didn't been to, like on the on the left side. Okay. Oh, don't tell me I can't. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> All the poles need to go. No communication. You hear? Yep. Ah, nice and sweet. It has such a nice fast swing, swing timer. It's good to use. Uh, I should be relatively close by, right? I am. I wonder if the gatekeeper in front will be hard to kill or not. Look, dear. Look, look. I'm faster than you. Yes. I don't know what you're targeting, but... Oh, well, there's a quest in here. Interesting. Well, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't, if I don't get distracted by something. Let's see. Uh, entrance. I cannot find the entrance. You know what they say. If you can find an entrance, make one. Oh. There we go. 
Tenderloin. The most tender cut melee damage for some monsters. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't... Uh, I don't dislike it. A uh, bunch more steel. Yeah, sure. I need the continental dinner key. Like, really? <laughs> well, game, I have bad news for you. I have bad news for you. I hope this doesn't break the game in some way. Uh, you find a note on the table. They want my family recipe. The hell they won't get it. I walked the recipe away in the locker room. If you want to find it, you have to follow the trash. Check the Continental Diner back alley for trash. Um, okay. As Alice is on sick leave, both Beth and Jim need to her assignments in addition to the usual tasks. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna find the key in the trash. <laughs> View, this tricks really bad. I think I found something. Search through more trash near a pond, north of Continental Dinner. Um, okay. Yeah, well, fine, fine. Where's more trash? I don't see any trash. Also, I can't pick that up and I really want to. There we go. Did anyone see any trash here? Uh, the things we're gonna do, the things we're gonna do. Dude, I'm searching trash. Can you give me some time? Thank you. Okay. There is something glued to the inside of this large wheel. Dig the green ground between piles of trash at the rock passages southwest of Old Chalice. What the heck? Wait, what? Go. Of old chalice. And of course I did not get a marker. What time is it? Mm. City Hall, Pioneer's Park, Mighty Hall, Wayward, Black Side G. Oh, there we go. Chalice. Um, Southwest. I mean, somewhere around here, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the in what the quest says. Uh, you find a note on the table, they want my phone, uh, they won't get it. Okay, dig the green ground between piles of trash at the rock passages southwest of Old Chalice. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that a tiny bit later. <laughs> I was like, sure, let's just grab a quest here, but now it's taking me way up there, so. Besides, I already got the recipe, so. <laughs> uh, So who cares, right? I mean, I would like to do the best though. I feel like I really, really earned the recipe. What does it say here? Life got you down, but are tasty sunny side up. Mm, well, they are really... How do, should I say? Innovative in their advertisements. Well, what I really want right now is a campfire, and for some reason there's like no campfire anywhere to be found. That's so weird. Uh, campfire, maybe. There's a radio here. With my inevitable leave of absence looming in, I hope you understand why I had to do what I've done. This is an what did you do? <laughs> Dude, what did you do? 
No, I don't understand. You left us behind to do on our own? Okay, I could do a tenderloin here if I wanted to. I did not quite deserve it yet though, but... <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, eight, 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 wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Oh, almost. Almost. There we go. Will I one shot them now? One shot, one kill. Well, there's no campfire, so. Let's go into the tunnel, I guess. Hello. Such a shame. He was in his prime. Okay. Uh, oh, there's the campfire. Good. Well, I knew there'll be one. It would be a bit weird not to have a campfire in such a large area. This corner like the campfires. Well, only 28 to go. We can do it. This seems to be a crude map of the island. Oh, really? Well, I have a good map of the lion island, so we can destroy that one. And the time has come. The time has come. Favored. Underground Western. Wait, what? <laughs> this sign is... <laughs> wrong way around. Well, maybe if I read it like that... Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this thing will not deter me, I guess. There we go. Bye bye. Enter. And of course, there's a campfire inside here because otherwise, looking for that one would be pointless. This place looks a little bit uh, scrappy. There's something in here. Okay. Uh, let's see the map. Okay. So we're gonna have to go through this underground passage. Okay, I'm gonna make a cut here, but yeah, we are doing nice progress here. Uh, nice progress. There you go. Mad Max, the road warrior. Anyhow, if you're enjoying these videos, some likes and subscriptions would be amazing. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Neomar signing out. Bye bye.